Okay, this is a pile microphone, as you can see. It's a, a PDM IC78, and it's a knockoff of a Shure SM57. Not a bad looking microphone, it looks like identical to the 57. And I've actually tested this mic, and it works very close to an SM57. And uh, right now I'm not able to uh, test it on this recording or on this uh, video anyway. Uh, but I can test the audio of it. As you'll see, it's still it's made of uh, die cast. It's very hard. Uh, some say the top of this, uh, the uh, mouthpiece should be able to spin on a real SM57. That doesn't, that's not the case with this one. And that's not really a big deal. It's not really a big problem unless you are really are an SM57 diehard fan and you must have the top that turns. This doesn't turn. It doesn't unscrew. This part of the microphone unscrews, as you'll see. Uh, now you have two black wires inside. Uh, the real 57s, I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Put some light on it. There we go. The real 57 has, I think, a red and a black, or different color wires. So having two black wires could be confusing. Okay, this also has an XLR connector. That's pretty good. That's nice to have. I mean, but the problem is, this is not a balanced microphone. It's unbalanced because <clears throat> they've taken pin one, <clears throat> excuse me, and pin three in this connector, and they've tied them together. Why I don't know. It can be fixed. But first, I want to show you how the microphone works. That's you know, like any other microphone, you plug it in and uh, away it goes. Well, I've got a small amplifier here that I've uh, made up for the test and just plug it in here and we can test the microphone. Here it goes. I turn it on. Test test one, two, two, three, three, two, one. It's clear. Uh, obviously it's a very small speaker but where I'm at now I can tell it's a very clear uh, very clean sound so that much is good. Uh, <coughs> Having said that, the only thing that's left uh, to really fix, if one decides they want to fix this mic, is to make it a truly balanced microphone. Now, I've got, how do you take it apart? I've got a screwdriver. Now, there's one thing you need to keep in mind here. It's a flat blade screw, okay? This, you don't turn it counterclockwise as you would a normal XLR connector, <clears throat> you have to use um, clockwise direction. So in this case, if I'm going to loosen it up, I turn it clockwise, gently, because these are cheap screws and everything. Okay, till it stops. Okay, now it's ready to come out. Take some tweezer pliers and just simply pull this out. And you'll notice here, if I can get up close enough. Let's turn to the magnifying glass again, because this camera doesn't focus very well. This has uh, pin one and three are, I don't know if you can see that, get that close enough. Pin one and three are soldered right there, one and three. So what I want to do is break that connection and solder the wire back to pin three, but break the connection, because both of the connections, three and one, and the mic connection and one are soldered to <laughs> pin one. So we have to, I have to disconnect those. So that's what I'm going to do right now. <coughs> and this involves bringing in the uh, device. Okay. Put the microphone in the device, which is very nice. Okay hold it in place. There it is. Now, what I need to do is to soldering iron. Now, I, soldering of the of these kind of microphones is pretty cheesy. It's not very good. I'm going to unsolder this wire here. There it 
goes, it's done. So now, knock off a little extra solder because I like to be neat. There we go. Now then, take the cutters, cut the wire between here and here. That comes out. Now I'll just take this wire and solder it back to pin three. And uh, I'll do that now. Let's see if I can get it done here. Just a little bit of extra solder on the tip here. Prime it. Try to get it in place. There it goes. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> One thing that was done right, I might point out. If you'll notice pin three and the ground tab. Those are grounded together. Let's leave the, I'll leave those because this makes the, uh, I've said pin one actually, pin one, and these are numbered actually, one, three, and two. If you can see that, one, three, and two. Pin one needs to ground to the case of this, and it's going to be done in this screw here. It's not the best, but it will work. So now we put the microphone back together put the connector back in the microphone body and that's done like this. Okay. All right, I'll bring it back in the, the camera view here. So as we can see, I'll take it out of the clamp. So it's back in, but I got to tighten it. Remember, I have to uh, loosen it and turn it counterclockwise because that's going to pull the screw outward toward me here. And that will then thus uh, pull the screw into the body of the microphone. Okay. I'm going to take some feeling around. I am unscrewing it per se and that's putting the microphone into the or the uh, screw into the microphone body and I feel it tighten right there. That's good to go. Now we test it again with the amplifier. Bring that out. Here's the amplifier, trusty dusty Archer amplifier plug the microphone in. Let's turn it on again. And I go test, test, test. It works perfectly, but it's balanced. The microphone is now balanced. Um, and it works pretty darn good. Um, I'll do some recording later on and I'll have a demo video using this microphone. The difference obviously besides cost and the look of the microphone compared to the SM57 is that the 57 has a transformer it has a matching transformer in here I don't know what the actual element is but the 57 has a matching transformer this microphone does not and see if I can pull it open again one more time again it's cheap Chinese stuff and there is no microphone down in there Okay, uh, there looks like there's a place for one in there. I don't know if you can see that in there, but anyway, there is no, so, so uh, the element is actually 600 ohms. It verified that, but that's okay. If it works and it sounds good, um, and now that it's balanced, it's like a real microphone, it doesn't make much difference, really. Uh, what matters is, how it works for you. In this case, I've used this one. It works excellent, especially on stage and for recording. And for 12 to 13 dollars, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I can't complain. I give it a thumbs up for the price. And trying to be a uh, 57 knockoff Chinese one. Uh, the workmanship's not real good, but then again, you're not paying for a lot, a lot for it. So. Anyway, but other than that, it's a pretty good microphone if uh, lightly used. And this again is the Pile PDM IC78. It's the Sure 57 SM57 knockoff. Not bad. Pretty good.